At this point, Nick Cannon gotta be trolling us, right? Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Aniano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of the family by clicking the subscribe button down below, bottom right corner of the video. Now at this point, Nick Cannon's gotta be joking, right? Like, there's no way. There's no way he puts out that shit diss and then gives Eminem an ultimatum to respond in 24 hours and then puts out another diss. I don't believe in Nick Cannon's talent to be able to write two songs back to back in a 24 hour period. But again, I'm gonna go into this with an open mind to see if Nick Cannon brings the fire, brings the heat, or is it just as abysmal as the last one? God, the last one was so bad, it's still like so fresh up here in my mind. But here we go, Nick Cannon, pray for him, Eminem this featuring the Black Squad. <laughs> I'm keeping an open mind, but right now it has 6.5K likes, 16,000 dislikes. He's like on that YouTube rewind like to dislike ratio right now. Bro, one of the main criticisms of his last video was that he didn't go after him himself. And then he puts this one out 24 hours later. It was definitely pre-recorded, right? It had to be, it had to be. But there's only one way to find out whether we like this shit or not. Let's go. Marshall, we still waiting. He's using the Renegade beat. That's like a no-name rapper thinking that he's good enough to make a hit on top of Tupac's Hail Mary. This has gotta be just like one long ass promotion for Wild and Out, right? There's there's no way it's not. Now we gotta pray for him. <laughs> it's incredible. Lord forgive us, I know that it's kinda wrong for five brothers this talented to be on one song. But that white boy, he is nice. But he crossed the black man, Lord Jesus Christ. We gon' pray for him and move Haley out the way when we spray cans. We don't shoot kids and women, we shoot an amen. Look, that double and Those are some nice little bars right there. Definitely better than the last song for sure so far in terms of like the actual wordplay. He said we don't spray cans, like we don't shoot these guns silence and we don't name after Haley, we don't name after women and girls. We aim after a man because he's the rap god. Amen, amen. That's kind of nice. I like that. Why is it wrong for the five brothers that are talented to be on one song? I don't understand why that's wrong other than the fact that you needed something to rhyme with song. Don't shoot kids and women, nah. we shootin' a man. Look, man. that double entendre, kinda heavily. Damn, and what you like five minutes away from 70? Oh, Oops, man. I'm in 47. Nah. Send him to hell if he bore to heaven. Man. Strapping the dynamite, word to Florida Evans. I get the grip. These are some good bars so far. I don't know about this bars, but they're good bars. Like the delivery, the flow, everything about it is nice. But we already heard that he's old joke. MGK already talked about his age. Ain't you a couple seconds away from 70? Oh, I mean four to seven. And then the bar when he says, if he's bored of heaven, we'll send him to hell. That's pretty tight, because again, he's the rap god. But again, just like MGK, you're acknowledging the fact that he's the rap god. Like you can't do that in a diss track. That was one of the biggest criticisms that I had of Rap Devil. You can't be giving somebody props when you're trying to diss. Seven. Send him to hell if he bored of heaven. Strapping the dynamite, word to floor to heaven. I get the grip in the Glock. He Better call a reverend, give Eminem fours and knock him out of Jordan seven. Oh, you got your own sneakers? That's okay. Well, to let you know them while and out Jordans is on the way. Nah, I ain't do this verse for the fame and the clout. I did this verse to say, keep my brother name out your I mouth. I mean, it this point is... You did do the verse for the fame and the clout, fam. You're not going after some nobody, no name. You know you're gonna get the fame, you know you're gonna get the clout. But you got a nice delivery, nice little flow. It's the best that I've heard of the three that were on the last song, for sure. The wordplay's nice, talking about how we gonna give him four and knock him out as Jordan 7s, 47. That's kind of nice. But what does the wildin' out Jordan have to do with dissing Eminem, though? Just throwing a paid promotion in the middle of the video? Speaking of paid promotion, it, nah, I don't have a sponsor, that'd be dope, though. I did this verse to say, keep my brother name out your I mouth. I mean, at this hey, point, it's bullying, because I know he ain't gonna clap back. So I won't be dealing with these rap cats. I'm the best in that stack. Put that on everything in my cash app. A bunch of red rags and black lacks. Incredible. Bruh, if you're using the cash app, that's low money shit. This is the level of, like, class. And at the epitome of class right here. Cash app, Venmo, Apple Pay, and Samsung Pay. Cash App users might as well be the one Android user in an iPhone group message that turns everything green. And he said, I'll be dealing with these rap cats because he ain't gonna clap back. I haven't heard nothing in the last five and a half minutes between this song and the last song that's worthy of a clap back. Red rags and black lacks. Incredible. They catch me with this, I'm going federal. I've been a star. Your favorite actress want to get sexual. You've been afraid, M. This ain't that renegade, M. When you ain't perked up, you sweeter than lemonade, M. Black squad, you won't link with them. 
This ain't renegade in when you're not perked up, you're sweeter than lemonade. That's a nice little bar. But it's a lot of dancing around him and then for a couple of bars and then throw one jab at him and then go back to dancing around. Sweeter than lemonade, M Black Squad, you won't link with them. See, you tried to bully pink in them, Britney Spears and NSYNC in them, and got the beefing with Ja Rule with the cops behind you. And every show since 04, you had to swap behind you. Man, y'all are find an all time great in a small town lake. I hawk them down with the case. Don't you got a cash flow? What the fuck you mad for? Subtract you at a casket? That's the aftermath. Whole holla. Hey, that was nice. That was nice. Subtract you at a casket. That's the aftermath. That was a nice little bar. That's the best bar that I've heard so far, for sure. But for real though, it's like these dudes don't understand why Eminem was saying the things that he was during Marshall Mathers LP era, during Eminem show era. He was saying things because he was the first white rapper to break out in the rap world, and people wanted him to be a certain way, and he was like, fuck that, fuck them, and then people got mad that he was saying those things, and then they tried to censor him, so he doubled down and saying them in even more. He wasn't really beefing with Pink, he wasn't really beefing with NSYNC, he was just saying shit to get people aggravated. His first real beef was with Murder Inc. and Ben Zeno and everybody at the Source magazine. And him and 50 Cent and Stat Quo and everybody on the Aftermath record label, they just murdered them. You can't be bringing up somebody that they murdered on the mic. It's like bringing up somebody's winning record and trying to like use it against them. And then that line about the small town lake and the all time great, I'll knock him down with the A. That was a nice little bar. But again, these are just generic bars. You can say these things about any rapper, about anybody that you're going at. So to me, the bars and the wordplay are nice, but it's like, it's not anything directly pointed at Eminem. You could have put this on a whole nother track that doesn't say Eminem this, and I wouldn't even know that you're talking about him. The aftermath, whole holla. Hi, Slim, let's kill it with all the chit chat. Eminem, but you get the sticks, now that's a Kit Kat. So wait, damn it, you mad that you ain't canning. All them pills you stay cramming, still giving you brain damage. The guilty conscience told you you was the- That was a nice little bar. That was a nice reference going back to Slim Shady LP. Talking about all those pills that you pop and they're giving you brain damage. And then they got like the ad lib from the actual song, Brain Damage. That was tight. But he said, you want to be Nick Cannon. He don't want to be Nick Cannon. Who the fuck wants to be Nick Cannon? And then yes, I skipped over the Kit Kat line because I thought we were done with the candy references. Shit's played out. And you brain damage. Your guilty conscience told you you was the man and all. But now you just a circus that cause you stay up on cannonballs. And then after the brain damage line, he brought it around back to guilty conscience. I like that too. But why does him thinking the man mean that he have a guilty conscience? What does that have to do? What does having a guilty conscience have to do with thinking you're the man? It was a nice reference to continue the bar, but it just didn't make sense. And then before I pause it, he ended it with a little bar there saying that he's like a circus sack because he stays up on Nick Cannon's balls. Like dudes that are shot out of a cannon in the circus. That one was kind of clean. Now that's the best one that I've heard so far. Was the man and all, but now you just a circus that cause you stay up on cannonballs. You always hide in your trailer, we know you big mad. Get your bitch to run in our lap like this is gym class. Cause all my niggas are stand up like Sinbad. Big mag in the cans that get rid of slim fast. Instead of staying in the booth to get your rhyming out, it's season 15. Here's your invite to wildin' out. Ain't no back. That was kind of nice. That whole like ending part, that like last four bars, six bars, that was kind of nice. He said all my people stand up like Sinbad, like Sinbad the stand-up comedian. Then he said we got big mags in the can that'll get rid of Slim Fast. Get rid of Slim Fast because one of the dietary drinks that came in a can was named Slim Fast. That was a nice little wordplay. That was a nice little couple bars right there. And he said don't stay in the booth to get your rhyming out. Here's an invite season 15 of Wildin' Out. I mean like that was nice but Eminem is like A-list of A-list celebrity. He's a little too famous to go on Wildin' Out. But it would be dope if he did. Not gonna lie. 15, here's your invite to wildin' out. Ain't no back doing, cause all of my troops thorough. thorough. Oh Ain't shit. Got no we got Lil Wayne back. Here's your invite to wildin' out. Ain't no back doing, cause all of my troops thorough. thorough. Ain't got no bitch clock, Nina, my new girl. I'm sick of all my homies keep dying, my puke Earl. God should've took him and just let us keep Juice World. Look, Nick, my brother, you bitch. Whack bar. Don't be bringing up Juice World when he just died. We gotta be dealing with this clownery instead of dealing with Juice World's death. That kind of gets me a little mad that you bring up Juice World like that, because it's like you're using his death for clout to go after Eminem. And I ain't got no bitch, Nina, my new girl. Psst. How many rappers have said that before? Look, Nick, my brother, you this them that gotta suffer. I told him don't dish you back. Let us handle this motherfucker. Look, I scratched the cereal number up off the baby llama. Him ain't seen a ratchet this dirty since his baby mama. God damn. Y'all niggas ain't had to do him like that. That was nice. Scratch the number off the llama. He ain't seen a ratchet this dirty since his baby mama. 
That was a nice one. But here comes, here comes our boy. This is the moment we all been waiting for. God damn, y'all niggas ain't had to do it like that. Shit, we don't do it, we overdo it. Shit, play fucked up games, win fucked up prizes. Shut the fuck up, Nick Cannon. God, just let your dudes like do the rapping. Playing fucked up games, get fucked up prizes. What are you even talking about? And quit with that voice. We know what your voice sounds like. It doesn't sound nothing like this. You're gonna hurt your vocal cords trying to bring your voice down. You got America's Got Talent and Wildin' Out that you gotta shoot. They don't need you with a sore throat. All this cocaine out here and you wanna put your nose in my business. I told you. I ain't even have to rap on this motherfucker. You know what? I'm not gonna rap. I'm gonna just do what you did. <laughs> You used to be in a position to talk to kids and they listen. Now you a politician. You voted for Trump, bitch. Admit it. Why he trying to put rasp in his voice? But I do get what he's trying to do. He's trying to do the thing that Eminem did on Hail Mary diss track to Ja Rule, where he uses the exact same flow, the exact same rhyme scheme of Hail Mary that Tupac wrote, but puts Ja Rule's diss in it. He's trying to do this right here on Renegade, but it's obviously Nick Cannon, so it's not going to have the same effect. <laughs> You used to be in a position to talk to kids and they listen. <laughs> what the fuck was that? You used to be in a position to talk to kids and they listen. Now you a politician. You voted for Trump, bitch. Admit it. They used to call you a minute. Why would he vote for Trump? He literally said he lost half of his fan base whenever he denounced and was talking shit about Trump. You can't be making shit up in a dish just to make shit up, just to be controversial. It's not how this works. And they listen, now you a politician You voted for Trump, bitch, admit it They used to call you a menace And the shoe fit you wore But now you getting facelifts Like an Instagram whore Used to be the king of the rule Ludicrous, lucrative lyrics Now all you is he talking about Eminem like getting Botox or something? I don't know if that's true or not. If it's true, it's a good nice little, it's a nice little bar. But if it's not true, we're like just making shit up, I guess now. But now you get in face lifts like an Instagram who used to be the king of the rule, ludicrous, lucrative lyrics. Now all you do is just cry like you got Tourette's in the stare. Maybe it's your mommy issue. Maybe your white devil is spare. Maybe your original music that your fans used to cherish. Now you debated this. Bro, I can't. Like, first off, I haven't heard a single bar, but I can't with this video and watching it because whoever edited this hoe, the audio and the lip syncing are like two frames behind each other, so it's like fucking with my head. Maybe it's your mommy issue. Maybe your white devil is spare. Maybe your original music that your fans used to cherish. Now you debated, disputed, hated, and viewed an American as. Why did he call him a white devil? He's literally rap god and he's white. Where MGK was the rap devil. Used to cherish. Now you debated, disputed, hated, and viewed an American as a motherfucking drug addict. Never be a legend. And you really should start to stare at who's in the mirror. Look at all that fucking Botox. Bitch, I know you embarrassed. Fuck all the tricks and the gimmicks. He said you'll never be a legend. <laughs> he already is a legend. And then he goes, bars ad lib like that was a bar that was not a bar he really should have just let his posse handle it because they were doing so good they were running the relay and then nick cannon's the fucking anchor and he trips 50 yards from the fucking finish line look at all that fucking botox bitch i know you embarrassed fuck all the tricks and the gimmicks you like the new white supremacist say the same fucking sentences nigga you ain't no lyricist slam 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 takes hands and trans i bet you never thought the kill shot would come from the cannon Bye. You used to be a renegade. He said, bet you had no idea that the kill shot would come from a cannon. Bitch, he had no idea because it hasn't yet. The hardest part of that whole song was the first three dudes. Should have just left it at that. The Botox thing, if that's real, that was really all that he had that we had never heard before. Saying that he'll never be a legend and that he's not a lyricist, the fuck is Nick Cannon smoking? One of the biggest criticisms of Eminem now is the fact that he's too lyrical, that his rhymes are too complex, it's too hard to break down the bars. And then he tried to do the Chris D'Elia and make fun of his delivery, and it fucking just dead doesn't land. Nick Cannon fucked the whole song up. I'm kind of mad for the Black Squad because they were kind of going in. Like, they had a nice little flow, they had a nice little tag team, but then here comes Nick Cannon, just fucking the whole shit up. I mean, this feels like a lot of little kids that are like trying to like play fight and like bring down an adult while they're walking. Like they're hanging on from his legs, they're hanging on from his arms, he's trying to walk, but he's like not really stumbling, he's just kind of annoyed by it. The kids think that they're actually doing rowdy damage, that they're actually like making progress and bringing him down. I mean, what's there to say? It's better than the last one, but that's only because you can't go down from dog shit terrible. I mean, at this point, it just has to be free promotion for like wiling out. You're not taking this serious, right? It's motherfucking Nick Cannon. The last time that I took Nick Cannon serious is when he was beefing with that fat ass dude from Drumline when he played his drums. 
This is just not an even playing field. And this is not David taking down Goliath with a stone. This is a mosquito at a picnic flying around your face and trying to stab you in the earlobe and you're like shooing it away for 20 minutes, but it's just not smart enough to go away. But I will say it's pretty genius promotion for wilding out. If that's really the true intent of this, cause there's no way this is truly supposed to be a beef. But yo, thank y'all guys for watching this video and this reaction and it's not really even a breakdown because there's not any lyrics worth breaking down other than a couple of bars. But if you like what you saw anyways, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. How about you yourself become part of the family by clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at the third earnest, no spaces, just like the name of the channel. Hop up in the discord. It's a lot of shenanigans. we got good times going over there in the discord and I'm active in the discord. I appreciate everybody's time who made it this far in this video. Like I say, I know you can go anywhere in the YouTube world and watch your reactions with anybody that you want. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video.